Let me catch y'all up right quick. Let me get my light. I'm gonna put some chapstick on so I'm not looking crusty on camera. Oh God, I gave Dior a couple kisses and now she got the zoomies. But I really want to come over, come on here and vent. Y'all remember those EOS? I never got an EOS. Maybe because I couldn't afford it. It was like $4. But I said that people with EOS was so. Not think they was cool, but you know, that was a trend back in the day. Anyway, let me move because the walls be thin. So, <clears throat> first things first, I went to the dentist today. They said everything went good. I just needed to hurry up and get my wisdom teeth pulled out. <clears throat> Cause it's starting to start some commotion in the back. But other than that, I'm good. I really wanted to uh, tell y'all how my kitchen light had went out the other day and called maintenance to get it fixed. See, here's the thing though. Let me back up a little bit. I'm ranting, so just bear with me. Um, my lock wasn't working. Something was going on with like the door. It wasn't locking all the way and I have a, a padlock. So call maintenance to come fix it. They came, you know, Dior was right there in the cage. He fixed it, he went on by his day. I didn't hear nothing else about it, boom. Maybe, I don't know how, when the next issue occurred, but my kitchen light went out and call maintenance to get that taken care of. Um, they came the next day, boom, fixed it. And I think this is like the head maintenance person or whatever so and then when did he fix my light i want to say like a week ago i want to say or maybe it was a couple days ago i don't know i get a call from the leasing office it's like hey um we noticed that when you got your last um maintenance done that the maintenance person said that you have a pet and we don't have you signed up with the pet registry i was like is under violation because you didn't let us know you have to pay. I said it's emotional support because legally I don't have to say shit. You know what I mean? So I was like, it's emotional support. So she was like, okay, well, you know, you do have to get them whatever under their little profile, whatever. So she was like, you know, fill out the link and then if if they're approved for the ESA, which she's registered, so I feel like she said that because she maybe thought I was trying to say. But she was like, um, if it's approved, then, you know, pretty much like all is well and then it won't be no pet fee. But if not, then I would have to pay $400 for a deposit and then it would be $20 every month. Who's paying that? Why do you think, why, why do you think I got her registered? Who's paying that? You know what I mean? So I was just like, when she said that, I was just like, okay, so what do you need from me? Letter of accommodation? ID card? <laughs> what do you need? Like I, I, I have you. She was like, oh well, we're gonna send you a link and you know just fill the link out and if she's approved then the charges will get dropped. But if not, then you just have to pay a fee. And she was like, until it's approved, does the pet have another home to go? So I said no. And I'm, I'm not finding one. <laughs> like it's emotional support. Why, why would I find her another home when she needs to? emotionally supporting me you know what I mean so the little thing said it was gonna take one business day to come back but I'm not worried about this I have my ID card and my auntie just showed me how to print out my letter of accommodation shot is registered I'm not paying a fee and I'm gonna check on my next bill too cuz you know how companies just be trying to do stuff on the low 
The rent better say what it said last month. to make a fish sandwich y'all I really gotta get my okay so let me tell y'all we're gonna update today so I had to um I feel like I showed y'all already but I got my backdrop put up so if you're in Atlanta you want to do a photo shoot call me but anyway um <clears throat> what was we talking about okay yeah so my car last year, last May. So I really will be coming up on a year, like a year without a car. If I mean I've done it before. But anyway. Um I'm sorry, I'd be losing train my train of thought sometimes. My car broke down last year. I got a blown head gasket. And you know, now that I think back on things and stuff, because I wasn't going to, like, an uh, in-store mechanic, I had found somebody. <laughs> Not even found somebody. Okay, I had I had <clears throat> hit something on the road. This was New Year's Eve. I had hit something on the road coming home from work, which I got. I get off work at 2 a.m. So, um, I was getting off work. I hit something on the side of the road, and I had to pull over. I was calling another friend to come and help me when someone else pulled up and he was like, you know, I can help you out, whatever. I don't even know, look. But he said he was coming back from a party and like he was a little lit, so you know, whatever. But he was gonna be, he was gonna do the job good enough for me to get home. So I'm like, cool. So, you know, as he's fixing my stuff, you know, we asking each other questions, just getting to know each other a little bit. And he was actually younger than me. I think he was like 20 years old or like 21 or something like that. And um, he pretty much knew how to like build cars, like, you know, put it all together or whatever. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like, you know, if I have any other mechanical issues, I can just hit you up. Cause you know, the prices be pricing. So, <clears throat> um yeah so he fixed my tire whatever you know put the spare on there and then next day i went to go get it fixed so um i think like i want to say or maybe like a couple months down the line or something happened where my car started to overheat um well actually i was having another issue my o2 sensor went out and this was right around the time that it was like snowing and I was like driving in the snow. I don't, I would, well, that's a story for another time. But my O2 sensor had been out for a couple months. So I don't know if that started other problems, probably. But by the time I was able to fix it, like my car was already like overheating and things like that. <clears throat> so, um, I hit him up because I need my car fixed or whatever. And he was going to do it for a reasonable price. So I'm like, okay, cool. So he did it. But something about what he did, like, he said the O2 sensor was in a place where he had to take the whole engine out. <laughs> I'm laughing because now that I think back on it, like, I don't know. I don't know anything about cars. So it's just like, Anything anybody tell me is just like, okay, I, I guess I have to run with it because I genuinely don't know. And, um, but here's the thing though, I really feel like Mercer was never deceitful. Like, he was always genuine. When he pulled over to help me fix my tire, like, he was cool. Like, he was genuine. I just honestly feel like maybe in some areas he didn't know what he was doing. It was more like that instead of he was trying to get off because he wasn't charging me an arm and a leg. Like he was giving me discounts. He said he was cool with the person at Auto Parts. Like he was giving me discounts with the parts and stuff. Like he was fucking with me. So I'm thinking like, you know, it's, it's good. <clears throat> and um, yeah, after the O2 sensor was fixed, um, the overheating problem subsided for a little bit. And then I, it was like some with the AC or something like that. Like it just kept having issues where it would overheat and we couldn't really get to the, you know, the source of the problem. 
and I had to end up taking it to no I think this is before that happened I don't know something happened where I had finally got it fixed and then the next day I went to work and um, when I got off work on my way home as soon as I started the car it started blowing out white smoke I think I still have the video I might post it <clears throat> it started blowing out white smoke and I think I had like a 30 to 45 minute drive home didn't make it so I had to get somebody I had to actually get my child to no this is my little to come pick me up and you know take me home and then I had to get the car towed back to the house so from that point on the car has been out of commission um, yeah the car has been out of commission I've gotten price quotes and stuff to get it fixed when I was in Nashville, I think the cheapest that I heard to get it fixed, which I wish I could have jumped on that price, but honestly, who knows if it would have got fixed for real, um, you know, messing with them. Cause I still never took it to a shop. I had a blown head gasket. So if I would have took it to the shop, I probably would have been paying, you know, at least 2,500, you know what I mean? So who, please sit down with that. So, I think the, the best deal that I got was for like $800, I want to say. And that was to fix the, 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 the head, the blown head gasket or whatever. God just didn't have the money at the time. Like, that was around the time my job had messed my checks up. Like, I was just going through a really bad time financially. <clears throat> So I, I just had to put it to rest and then I had just got promoted to working from home. So I didn't really have to worry about getting to and from the work. So I just kind of put the issues with my car on the back burner. That was also around the time where I was supposed to be getting ready to move. Like it was just a lot going on during that time and I just had to put it on the back burner. As for to now, I'm in a much better place financially, mentally, all of that. Um, and when I revisited, the issue at first I was just going to get it you know traded in because the value of the cars wasn't gonna be you know how much okay when I got the quote for the blown head gasket it was gonna run me about $2,700 this is getting a quote from my papa again <clears throat> so when I first heard that I was just like you know what with it only being worth I think like 2k or 1800 like it would probably be better for me to just get a different car you know just start fresh but then I started thinking like I still owe on this car and um I still owe on the car and I need to it just would be a better financial decision to just keep it than to be trying to find a new car and it's a good car like it interior like it's not beat up or nothing I've only had it for two years it's just this issue and all that to say I think I really got the, the blown head gasket because whenever Mercer did what he did when he took that whole engine out just to fix that one little piece I think he didn't put it back together properly because I had a homeboy that took his BMW to Mercer to fix it and he said he he put his car in worse position than he gave it to him. Like he can't even drive it anymore. So I was that made me think like because after Mercer fixed my car a couple weeks later, I don't I don't even want to say a couple weeks later. I want to say like two weeks later. Back in the same position, non-drivable, or you know running high. I'll have to keep buying um what's it called antifreeze just to get where I gotta go. And you know that that be beating up on the car and honestly that probably played a part too because whatever the issue was going on like I still needed to get to and from the work so I'll just put the little antifreeze in there and get to work <laughs> but the mechanic said like that's not good so um finally put it down. I probably run the car so I can leave just so I can get around and then I have to go ahead and hang it up because 
Yeah. He said if I keep doing that, like the engine is just gonna burn up. So that's where I'm at with it now, and I was able to find some more affordable. So when I came down here and I revisited the issue, they was just like, you just need to get a new, um, a whole new engine. I was like, okay. And then they was like. Uh, that's when he was like 2500 So I did some research on my own. It's people out here selling it for way cheaper. And then you gotta think, like, with the kind of car I have, like, it really shouldn't even be that much. Not to say I have a hoop, but like, it shouldn't be that much. So, yeah, I did some research on my own. I was able to find a way cheaper engine. I, I would just have to find somebody who could put it in for a reasonable price. That's where I'm at, and I know I'm going to have my car by my birthday. Yeah, I know I do that in a long story, but hey. These dishes are not even washed right now. I'm going to put you in my hands. Y'all, I'm going to go back to work. Today, it's already one. four o'clock. I get off at you six. Can get one I mean, I get off at for eight. Me. So, one for me. I am just so ready. One for me. I'm so ready to be an entrepreneur. Like, I am so tired of like clocking in, doing all of that. Like, I hate that. I hate when people tell me where I need to be at a certain time. I don't like that. I want to do shit on my time. I'm very productive, you know, when given the space. I just, need, I just feel like I need to master discipline and consistency a little bit more. And yeah, it won't be good to go, but I'm ready to work by myself. For myself. And not having to send an email. Every time I'm two or three minutes late. You know, bitch, I'm human. No, I didn't clock in on time today. Life happened. You know what I mean? So, whatever. I just wanted to chat with y'all for a little bit. Hopefully, y'all like the photo shoot. I'm going to try to do more. I wasn't able to get behind the scenes that much just because... I was pretty much doing the whole project alone. So, you know, there's a lot going on. I try to go live. But honestly, I'm finna stop going live. Like, bitches, it be like two or three people on there. And I be giving good content when I could have just recorded it, put it on my shorts. And instead of two people seeing it, 400 people or more can see it. So, I'm done fucking with TikTok. I... Yeah, I won't do that no more. I should have just recorded because I had some good content. Like I could have got content of me doing my makeup, content of me doing my hair, content of me putting my outfits together and recording. But no, I went live. It's okay. We all make mistakes when it comes to this game. <laughs> and we just have, it's just a trial and error. It's just a trial and error. My couch came, y'all. She's looking good. Mm -hmm. Yo, the couch is here. Mm -hmm. It looks so good. Y'all, I just have to make this video very quick. So I'm editing right now. And, um... I thought that I made a video that was going over the video shoot that I did, but I guess it got deleted. So I did a video shoot. I um, did a video where I was changing my outfits. I'm gonna put it in here so it'll be next. 
Um, and then I was just showing you guys the behind the scenes of that. So it would be a few clips of that. But other than that, that was it. So I just wanted to add that little in there so you're not like, what's going on, you know? Um, but yeah. Hey y'all! Here come your show some camera time. Well, what's up? Well, now that we got our special guest in the camera. Let's go ahead and play dress up. So look, y'all. My auntie got me to take her to a gala it's called a mud gala. And um, so I went ahead and got her a dress. It's supposed to be next week. <sighs> I was going back and forth between two dresses and I ended up just getting this red one. It was a pink one that was really cute, but it's just like, we can't do pink over here, unfortunately. So I got her a red dress, it's so cute. I just hope it fits her. This is actually an extra large. I guess I'm only concerned about like the neck part, cause Shawty got a big head. But the body should be fine. And then it has like this cute tutu on the back. It's really cute. It's really cute. I don't know if it's giving gala. Maybe. I wanted her to have something with like, you know, glitter, something loud, something that's popping, you know? So this is the dress. And we about to try it on right now. And I actually have a red dress that I'm going to wear to match her. Ready to try this on, Mukiana? Come on. Come on, get up. Get up. I've been up for two whole days thinking what I did to keep it going. Coming through the first ones that you left me telling me what I went wrong. It's cute. It's cute. 